Before this video starts, I just want to give a quick shout out to Luna, Bricks, Blackfire and Tiffy for helping with these hardcore boss runs. It's very much appreciated. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video and hopefully you like that crit that I hit on the final boss. Make sure you stick around to see that burn. But let's go. Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Vyaran and today we're here to talk about the Band of Air and how Cryptic can make it easier to obtain. I touched up on it a little bit but I didn't actually give it any ideas also guys if you like this style of video with the music in the background when there's a dungeon run going on let me know down in the comments below also consider subscribing if you like the content leave a like on the video as well and i will try and upload every single day sometimes things get busy and sometimes i just can't do it but it is what it is okay so the band of air is one of the most talked about rings in the game probably the most talked about item in the game on maybe just behind the ribcage because I know a lot of people are unhappy about the ribcage nerf but the band of air is the topic of today's video and how cryptic can make it easier to obtain because apparently that is what they are planning to do so Aragon did the testing and for me as a rogue thankfully he plays a rogue too but I will be losing or all rogues will be losing 40% damage. Now, will the Band of Air be best in slot? Apparently, it's still gonna be. Shout out to Aragon for doing all the testing. It really helped me out, and I'm sure it helps a lot of other people out as well. So, how to make the Band of Air easier to obtain? Well, if we go off the whole uh, Chult Hunt system, they made it 100% drop rate, and the gear became actually really terrible. It was no longer best in slot, which is why they did it. They left it too late and this nerf i feel has been left a little late as well so will they make the regions 100 percent uh chance drop rate um it's a possibility i can't see that happening because i do still expect for the rogues as aragon has stated that the band of air will still be best in slot so i had a thought that you can make it easier to obtain by getting one regent per completion what that means is you basically complete hardcore boss you get all the way through all the mini bosses or whichever mini boss drops the regent that you are looking for so say if you're looking for the first regent you go and kill the first mini boss you carry on you get the completion and then it drops is that an easier way of doing it yeah i think it is um the hard the hardcore boss completions aren't necessarily difficult they just take a bit of teamwork a bit of communication some people even do it without being in chat so it's just knowledge at the end of the day that's all it is however i feel this might be a good way of letting people have the regents however there's still a bit of a challenge in there as well so if you needed the second regent you go go uh, through the dungeon in hardcore boss you kill this second mini boss and then you carry on to the end you get the completion and then at the end in the chest or whatever the second regent drops and it's got a hundred percent drop rate all you gotta do is complete the dungeon and kill that specific mini boss however you could only get one per run which means you cannot go and kill the first mini boss the second mini boss the third mini boss and then go and get the completion you can only get one per run so you can only kill one of them mini bosses and then go ahead with completion that was one of the thoughts i had now let's talk about some other thoughts that i had obviously you might disagree or you might agree let me know in the comments section below the next method that i was thinking about is probably what we all expect them to do it's just increasing the drop rate because the drop rate is really really poor and obviously if the nerf in the band of air it definitely should not be as hard to get so the drop rate specifically increasing i think that is what they're gonna do however there are a couple more methods that i do want to talk about the next method i was thinking about is adding them to the campaign store and maybe having currency drop you know for example you've got the golden apples which by the Sharandar helmet along with i can't remember what they were the Bashe orders no that's completely wrong but anyway in the campaign store you can buy the helmet for golden apples and what i mean is like one of them currencies a bit like the golden apples that drops one at one boss 
and then maybe you can pick up the regents from the campaign store once you've got a certain amount of them um i'm just going to call them golden apples because i honestly don't know what they would be called but they only drop at the mini bosses in hardcore boss and they are essentially guaranteed i think that's another cool way of doing it again um we don't know what's going to happen this is all speculation this is all ideas whether cryptic see this video or not i doubt it but it is what it is i'd still like to help out in any way i can even if it's not being heard if you made it to this stage in the video guys let me know in the comments below i appreciate all of you thank you so much for your support and if you have made it to this stage in the video then be sure to stick around because you are going to want to see the burn on the final boss now let's get into the final method that they could actually implement in order to make the band of air easier to obtain without making it too easy for those people who haven't actually acquired it yet but first of all i don't think that you should be able to unbind the band of air and sell it on the auction house i know that is an option that maybe they're considering maybe i don't know but I definitely don't think they should do that. I think the Band of Air is one of them things that should definitely be farmed. So hopefully they don't make it to where you can actually unbind it. Um, yeah, I just, I don't agree with that. Because of how much people have actually farmed. And how much of a grind it took for them to get theirs. Yeah, it would kind of be a slap in the face. And I don't necessarily agree with it. The final method that I was thinking about is if a certain... Well, each of the mini bosses had a certain amount of kills that you needed to get in order to get that region drop. Kind of like the new lot box system, how you have to open so many to get this item, if that makes sense. So let's say you have to kill 20 mini boss, uh, the first mini bosses. Once you kill 20, the region drops, and yeah, it's as simple as that. What it would do, it would help critics play your retention while also giving the player base something to aim for without RNG and drop rate interfering what you gotta do is go into hardcore mini boss uh, go into hardcore boss sorry kill whichever mini boss you want 20 times 20 is just an example you guys might want less you guys might want more let me know in the comments below but that was another thing that I was thinking about that why not just add the drop rate as guaranteed Kind of like the, not, uh, the new lockbox system, but just make it so we have to kill the many bosses a certain amount of times, depending on which region we actually need. But they were just some ideas that I've been thinking about. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. I'm really interested to find out. As you've seen, this burn on the boss was absolutely crazy. And this is just something I wanted you guys to see. It was a crazy fast run. I didn't even have to do much editing, I just edited out the mob portions and that is about it. The run was really smooth, it was really crazy at the same time, but yeah, we got through it easy peasy. With a good team and communication, you can get through anything within the game. Thankfully, it does promote team play. If you are a solo player, you might struggle with this kind of content and getting the gear that you actually want, but yeah. This video is pretty much rounding up now. Again, let me know your thoughts or let me know any methods that you guys have been thinking about. I'm interested to find out and I will reply to all the comments. Um, if you disagree with something that a viewer has said or what I've said, keep it respectful. Leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and you want to make your way back to the channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. If you've made it to this part in the video, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you everyone for your support. It is greatly appreciated. I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.